Finally, Rim Rim's mech suits. And not the things I keep calling mech suits that aren't mech suits. Well, I suppose they are mech suits. They're just not like those cool as the mech suits we've got right now. They're not blue. <laughs> Before we begin, you small, pathetic, feeble creature. For the next three days, I won't be home. I am attending the funeral of a close family member, and therefore, I will not be here. Though I have many skills in my repertoire, being able to telecommunicate into my PC from halfway across the country for the purposes of recording RimWorld, just is not one of them. If you would like mediocre impressions from early 2000s films, I'm your guy. Until then, I've not much else I can do. I'll try and get us enough content to cover the next couple of days, but I don't think there'll be an episode tomorrow, but hopefully there'll be one Friday, depending on just how fast I can record. But luckily, Rim Rims, there is plenty for us to do and- <gasps> Rats, sweep the legs. Meat for the meat machine. Yes. Oh, no, I put that rat down. We not only have to field test our brand new shiny blue mech, we not only have to continue the research into luciferian fueled weapons, and we not only have to grind up all the delicious, delicious, tasty meat on this planet. Oh, it's mostly people. There are no animals. But there's also some other stuff that I've forgotten right now. <laughs> Going to be a nice, calm, low blood pressure experience now that we have our not-so-secret weapon. I mean, General Payne did, you know, announce that he was going to build mechs. I feel like the mechanoids have probably been tipped off. They probably have anti-mech mechanoid weapons. Even more confusing when you consider that the mechs were anti-mechanoid in the first place. So they're anti-mechanoid mech, anti-mechanoid mech weapons. When you think about it. No, I think I said mechanoid too many times. It doesn't matter. It's not important. I ended up cutting out a massive chunk of yesterday's episode where I was talking about sleeves and duplication and big brain plans. So we've whittled our colony down, as I did discuss, to basically the best fighters, because everybody else died horribly. And through the power of science, we have the ability to implant floppy disks in the necks of our people, and then, like the good pirates we are, we can burn that to a new disk and install it into a new person. What I'm saying is we can clone and duplicate Chainsaw Hands and her personality into many, many new people. We've built the ultimate mechanoid killing weapon accidentally. I didn't even know we could do this when we started. Uh, that wasn't until Halexium, the mind behind both the weapons we're using to kill the mechanoids and the mechanoids themselves. Wow, we're already playing both sides there now that I think about it. Uh, that wasn't until Halexium messaged me and said, dummy, you can install the cortical stacks in regular people, not just clones. So we could capture prisoners and install chainsaw hands into them. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh, it's very Matrix, though, with Mr. Smith. You know, he puts his hands in people. I mean, Chainsaw Hands has been doing that, but it's been a bit more fatal. Now, I'm kind of hoping we don't get any mech raids for a while, because we've still got 180,000 watts left to charge up in the mech suit before we can use the abilities and whatnot. And we still have to try and uncover the final three mechs. Oh, the teeth are back. People wanted me to give Chainsaw Hands plastic teeth so that she could chomp and she could slash. I think I just chose teeth replacements instead of the actual research of the letters. Hack the stacks. God damn it. <laughs> we've already got the research, we've already got the table, but we can build more is the point. It, it lets us do the other stuff later down the research tree. And as soon as we find a reliable way to get meat, we can make Blue Man Group. This has become Avatar, you're right. Someone left a comment saying that oh, it's become Avatar because the suits are from Avatar. That's what those are. But I didn't know what you meant by the blue people. But then it occurred to me we're growing a giant blue man. Well, he's a regular sized blue man with green hair, which they didn't have in Avatar. I had sexy hair, but they didn't have green hair. There are animals out on the map. We've got a rat, and we have another rat. Wait, female? What's the other rat? Hold on. Oh, it's female rat. Shit, was that other rat that I killed earlier? Male, because that would really... That would really be a terrible outcome. Uh, Mr. Rat. Oh, shit. Resurrect the rats! <laughs> no! Shit. Well, I tried. Oh my god, that would have been amazing. Resurrector. Mech serums, we can make it. Holy shit, but it's like... 8,000 research, then 20,000. Well, I mean, for the low, low price of 58,000 research at the minimum, we could potentially resurrect a rat. I mean... Sure. Honestly, why not? I'm having to put a freezer extension on so that we can store the body of a rat that I just murdered so that we can do 60,000 points worth of research to resurrect the rat, to breed the rats, and then grind the rats up to turn them into people. <laughs> this is inspired. This really is truly inspired. Also, it turns out, uh, I, well, I tell that it was death certifiers. 
that were, um, well, unsurprisingly, that were keeping Ivy alive. Uh, so what's happening is it's trying to apply the thing that makes their gear dissolve to <laughs> put it in layman's terms. When man die with death, the certifier clothes go burr. And the problem is the muffalo doesn't have clothes, and that needs to happen before it can die. Uh, so we can't die. I don't know who put the death certifier in the muffalo. This is a top secret muffalo. Oh, cheers there, love. Finally, I've got some better teeth because I'm British. I've never seen anything more American uh, than and somebody complaining about that joke I made in yesterday's episode by calling me an idiot, saying that because America was seventh on the list, they were higher than the UK. <laughs> I know it's not all of you, but I mean, Jesus Christ. Chunks of ancient space junk have impacted nearby. Oh, you can only spawn them and move them into your junkyard. Oh, cool. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, I'll take those. We can collect junk? Oh, this is incredible. I didn't even realize we were supposed to be building a junkyard. Instead, all I've built is a <laughs> pristine state-of-the-art lab. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm putting King Snitch on non-stop meditation uh, so that we can use their skill to tame a rat. This is the second series where we've tamed rats to grind them up to do something disgusting and uh, ethically questionable with them. I mean, twice isn't a lot, but it is weird that it was well, it's weird. It's just weird. <laughs> Don't need to carry on with that. Now, someone in the comment section suggested this, and I actually big agree. We've got a massive amount of chem fuel generators, and I love them. I'm never going to change them. I like the big industry style of the base. But if we're trying to charge up mechs, all of which are potentially 200,000 watts, we might have to start building a nuclear reactor. So maybe we'll dig out another big chunk so that we can... Throw one of those down? Oh god, this is gonna take a long time. ka -chow. Oh, no, 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 you stand there. Well, drop, put, put chainsaw hands down, Boone. 16.47 <laughs> mining. Can we now give you... Ah, drilling. Definitely, oh, definitely drilling. Yeah, definitely drilling. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> that really tells a story. Naughty went berserk because of her hideous environment. Somebody, Kirillin, beat the shit out of her and apparently rearranged her face so well, she became pretty. That's nice. <laughs> Don't know how that happens. Are, or are you morons seriously breaking down because you're in a cave mining? I mean, yeah, no shit. Oh, it's a hideous environment. It's a damn cave. <sighs> Here I go, sweeping the legs again. <laughs> Just goes to show that it's not always good to sweep the legs. Sometimes they might end up pretty. It really makes you think. What? Anti mech raid? Mech crushers? Wait, but we're not. We ain't mech too. Oh, you mean mech, mech suit, not mechanoid? No, 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 no. Man mech good. <laughs> what the hell is that you've got equipped there? Shields, thermo blades. Bypasses the mech frame shield. Oh shit, what is that? You've got there two pulse rifles. Wowee. AMGR launchers. Oh, they're not pissing around, are they? These raiders are devoted to destroy your mech frames. They are armed with weapons designated for this purpose. They will exhibit combat tactics and will focus fire on your mech frames. I'm not even sure it's charged yet. And there's me thinking this mech frame would be a silver bullet. How's it looking? It's charged enough. There's only one person that can pilot it. Corillon? in the damn mech. Hopefully the turrets will make quick work of them. I say that. I don't know what these shields are like. I don't know what these weapons are like. Never really seen anything like this before. They're walking right past the turrets. That's very big brain. Wow, they're walking just outside the turrets, for God's sake. They're so smart! Okay. Here it goes. Did they just tank a hit from like 12? Man, those shields are strong. No, but we're good guys! We hate mechanoids too. Maybe they're just like no mechs ever. Neither mech is good. Oh my god. I think the explosion. I think the explosions killed more of them than uh <laughs> than the actual turrets. Sweep the legs. There was a favor and switch. Oh, you're going for chainsaw hands. Oh, it's a bad day to be king snitch. Sweep the legs. Please. Kachow! Okay, problem solved. Let's get out there. I think the other mech's gonna need some help. Corollin's going out first. Boom, get in the amp. They are annihilating these turrets. Okay. Assisted combat. Let's see what we can do here. Rocket barrage. They're fleeing. Kill them all. Ooh. I like the look of that one. Man, so we our turrets actually did a good job, but they destroyed so many of them. They're so expensive, for God's sake. Yeah, you break that door down. God damn, that's loud. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is great. Was that? They brought the shield like immediately. Okay. Okay, that's fine. This is a, a big old regular shield, isn't it? So we should be sticking behind that at all times. Maybe I should just manually cast it all. I think that could work a lot better. Wasn't nearly as bad as I thought people to install things into. Get them captured. This is both meat and meat puppets. Delicious, delicious meat puppets. Anyone else survive? We could also resurrect them. It actually might not be a terrible idea. What psionic gravitational pressure? I have no clue. Uh, hey, do any of you have cortical stacks? Because that would be really nice. I can't see any. I mean, there's no point in resurrecting bodies when we've only got one spare stack. And we need more for our people, right? So that's not much point yet. But what the hell are these? AMGR launchers. Disposable rocket launchers. Hey, that's pretty good. We've got a pulse rifle. Arm penetration of 35%. Actually, damage is pretty good. Accuracy is great. Oh, shit. Well, that's an upgrade. Dua has died. Cause psychic crush. Is that a side effect of one of the rocket barrages then, I presume? Wow. So the shield barrier raises a wall at the location. Oh, I like that you can see the outline. That's cool. Basically creates a, a temporary shield. That's nice. Blocks hostile projectiles and blast waves allow friendly projectiles to fire. Got it. We've got the shot blast. Man, that looks so cool. Graphically, it's, it's just amazing, isn't it? Shock Blast slows down enemies in range, interrupts their attacks, and has a chance to disarm them. Okay, cool. And then the Rocket Barrage, as we've seen, massive range on that one. Does that kind of purple effect to it, so I bet that's the Psychic Shock. Wow, I feel like Mr. House demonstrating what my definitely friendly human-first killer robots can do. We kill to save. And that's, that's always been the general pain motto. And all the other mechs, too, have unique different powers on top of that. So even though this guy is super impressive by itself, we can still do other things and we can upgrade it. Oh, shit. Oh. A comfortable cockpit environment. An electronic entertainment. A luxury in the battlefield. Oh, well, I mean, I've got to get it upgraded as soon as possible. So the armor drops. So that's when you have to... Uh, you have to manually repair it with more of the armor. Oh, got it. Oh, that's a cool system then. So you can't just you can't just like run up to it and repair it with the regular repair skill. You actually have to expend a significant amount of resources to rebuild it. That's a great system. I like that a lot. And then we can swap that out with a charged battery, like a hand drill. <laughs> it's a good idea. It's always good to have a backup. You never want to be interrupted midway through. Heavy duty battery triples the internal capacity. We need that nuclear reactor before we can do that. All right, well, let's start on that first. Get the room cleared up. We'll throw down. Uh, we might have to uh, turn this thing back on too. We haven't got enough power to even turn on the ability to make the fuel for the reactor yet. Oh, shit. Um, well, let's go ahead and pop it right in the corner for safety reasons. Maybe I'll even throw it behind another armored wall later on, but we'll put it behind a, a nice little air barrier there. Then maybe we'll throw some fire foam poppers in. Ooh. A new dreaming. Holy crap, it worked. I saw the boon run off to go refuel the sleeving bit, but he's done it. Look. Growth progress 99%. Come on, little blue man group. I think we give boon a whole new body. Finish growing sleeve. It's done. So hopefully we can get rid of the dementia. We get rid of the blindness. We transfer all the skills that boon has picked up into the brand new sleeve. I wonder if it'll work well and fine with the expertise. We might just have to pick it again. That's okay. He didn't get much skill anyway. Let's crack it open. Come on. Come on, little Boon. You get yourself a brand new body. Big blue Boon. There he is. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so good. So, I presume we remove cortical stack from the neck. That will probably count as a colonist's death. Mad science time. Oh, everything is paying off all at once. It's been a slow burn to get here, but having the clones, having the mech, Having the, uh, the the crazy mechanoid medicine too. We won't inject Boon, or what, new Boon, big blue Boon, with the Scarlet Mechanites, because that will be his main body. We're just going to get rid of this old one. We'll grind it up, we'll turn it into a new Tramine, and then we can turn that into more sleeves. So he'll live on, uh, sort of. Goodbye, old Boon. Goodbye. There you go. Freed from his old body, we will plug him in to new blue Boon. Oh, you need medicine to do that. Well, that was pretty coincidental that we defeated those guys and they had medicine on them. Otherwise, that would have uh, really screwed Boone up. And Boone Mark II. 
There he is. Did he keep all of his skills and everything? Fantastic. There you go. So, yeah, we did have to rotate the expertise, which I expected anyway, because it's obviously like a specialized skill. Let's go back to uh, drilling them for Boone. Sleeve shock. He's a little bit irritated. Fine. Standard sleeve quality. We could put more points into that in the future, of course. And there he is. Boone is that we, that we know and love. Staggeringly ugly. That's fine. Cat person went misogynist. Oh, obviously the ugly effect comes from the fact that it was a low quality sleeve more than anything else. And the best part is our people don't care about tainted apparel, so we can just go over there, strip him, and new Boone can wear old Boone's clothes. Uh, oh, to be fair, they probably shouldn't care if it's their own clothes anyway. That's disgusting. I died in those. <laughs> oh! Naughty! I know I said we didn't care, but fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> Do I mean it's, it's, that one was already warm? Well, how would you not gonna sleep on a cold operating table? Now, given that skill hack is on cooldown for a long, long time, let's see if we can get a nice middle ground where chainsaw hands can use all the abilities. Everyone in the fucking comment section is screaming at me for not using, like the ability to turn invulnerable and whatever else. Not that it really matters because we can resurrect her anyway. But if we lose both King Snitch and Chainsaw Hands, then we're in a bit of a bind. So let's try and find a way to make them both. Have enough time to meditate and keep themselves vulnerable and whatever else, but also do some work because we need to do a little help here. So second expertise for general pain. I think we have to go for... What do you think? Tailoring? Weaponsmithing? I think tailoring is probably more important given that eventually we'll get weapons for the amp suits, which we'll still keep our regular colonists using, so that'll have something built in. And then... But what are we doing with tailoring? We're making, like, better suits? I'm actually not sure any of the crafting stuff is is so useful. Oh shit, I don't I don't know. It'd be nice if we could just give him a generalized crafting speed, but of course you get that from your crafting level anyway, so I get why there isn't one of those. Um excellent clothes. You know what? Sod it, I'm in. General Payne is now an expert suit tailor. <laughs> <laughs> the least useful thing during an apocalypse. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. That is really, really something, isn't it? The hair of a YouTuber, the skin of a smurf, and the resolve of a hardened warrior. Oh, this is the man that we are putting the lives of our colonists in the hands of. Good lord. We're going to swap out some of these old graves, because some of the old graves have people with stacks in anyway. Uh, so we're just going to empty that out, and then we're going to get Boone to bury... Bury Boone. Boone's going to be ground up. You know what? I'm actually all right with that. Yeah, you know what? Maybe that's not such a problem. Boone would be happy that his body's going to good use. King Snitch has collapsed. Resurrection Psychosis Severe. Right, okay, so you get the next sleeve. Um, create sleeve. Now, people used to complain... Uh, that, you know, when you color code people, they look like the Power Rangers, because all of them have, you know, like, one person has red armor, one person has blue armor. How about instead? Hear me out here. <laughs> there we have it, the new King Snitch. And, oh. <laughs> that turns out nuclear reactors are pretty fast to build. So we do need the enriched uranium, unsurprisingly. Uh, I've turned this thing back on, but at the sacrifice of the research, because we just can't have both until the nuclear reactor's built. So if there are any mechs lined up, there aren't, but there are skill trainer creation origins. That sounds good. Cre or organ? Maybe that's supposed to be organ. Either way, skill trainers, so that we can do something while skill hacks on cooldown, because it's got really, really long cooldown on it, will be amazing for these new sleeves when we turn them out. Keep it all downloaded into the stacks. If somebody dies, we're not losing the skills. We could potentially get a whole colony up to like 20 across the board. I think it makes sense to try and upgrade this mech as soon as possible. It's going to be a long time before we get any others. I only want to build one of each. So let's go all in on this like as hard as possible before the next raid turns up. I need to be a crafter. General Payne being the one to build the mechs and to upgrade the mechs is so good. We're not going to make him a mech pilot though. We need Plasteel and Sim Thread for the others. This is cool. So it's unlocked some new stuff here. Fill supply modules and replenish the supply modules so they can just eat meals... I presume, before combat begins, which is normally why they break down in the first place, right? That's a great idea. So we can make supply rations. Oh, it's got medicine in there too. Man, this is cool. This is such a great mod. Let's go 10 supply rations. Seems like a good idea. Actually, how many do you need to fill it? Nine. Okay, so we'll just do it till we got 10. We need to put like a proper dedicated mech bay then, don't we? Maybe move some of the amp suits out and put a mech in each corner. Maybe the amp suits out here in the... In the courtyard? It might be a bad idea. Slightly easier on the micromanagement front if you've only got to <laughs> be paying attention to just this one area at once, right? I think I might do that. 
So let's throw, uh, well, let's move these giant towers, much I like the giant towers. They don't really do much besides aesthetics for us currently. Ooh, right for the skill trainers, gotcha. Uh, Tesla coils sound really good. Surely those would work. We're going to mechanoids. We're going to zap the, me zap the mechanoids. I like that. Let's throw down a big old factory floor here, just as like a little marker. <laughs> Boone. What have you done to your hair? Not really what I had in mind with the whole, you know, elite mech destroying force. Oh, the whole, you know, emphasis on style and suits. And you ended up <laughs> with that. Oh my god, a transport pod crashed with a relationship in it. Low wage worker named Choco is crashing. Paralytic Basie will be unable to walk until it heals. She is Chainsaw Hands' sister. You know what? All right. Okay, I'm in. Well, yeah, Choco and Chainsaw Hands. Yeah, well, that's a great combo. Um, what, what did your... Oh, I wanted to look at your stats. Chainsaw Hands, put your sister down. She's an all-inclusive sadist. <laughs> that might be the best randomly generated meme I've ever seen. Wow, she is a monster. What? Uh, maybe this is what Chainsaw Hands had originally. Blood court, sadist, maybe Chainsaw Hands' backstory. She she became the leader of that blood court, but had enough and left to see the stars. Wowee. I'm monkey venerated. We love monkey. Ah, uh. oh, shit. The one fucking room I don't have an abundance of fire foam poppers. Ah, come on. You know I'm never going to hear the end of this, right? The one series I use fire foam poppers in abundance in every room. The stockpile still burns down. I would like to tender my resignation. <laughs> <Come on. sighs> that was really funny. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was, that was fucking great. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought I'd check completely on a whim. Psychic shot lance. Give me that. That's what we need to build the fancy glasses, right? Fancy glasses might be a bit of <laughs> a bit of an understatement. You know, like in a, a, a very, very powerful pair of psychic weapons. But no, a pair of glasses. What was it called again? The here we are, Atlas Psychic Glasses. So we do need the silent, but we can eventually get research just to craft those. Oh, there we go. Ten thousand watts excess. Ah, oh, shit. Well, let's turn the. Uh, ENIAC back on, and let's go for... Oh, is that another mech? Wait. It is! Holy shit! I thought it was just an upgrade. We've got Damage Specialist Owl. Hang on. Owl! And then Sparrow and Falcon. Got it. And what I want to build now are... Oh, you know, I haven't finished the room yet. Oh, what are you doing, Lazy? Hey, put those chainsaw hands to work. What do you mean it's hard to carry building supplies? <laughs> <laughs> Damage potential optimized mech frame. I would love to give this one to Boone. I think Boone is is damage potential in human form. <laughs> the medicine. Nice. Okay, that one's pretty massive. We've almost got the new mech base sorted out. This is going to be dedicated to the actual mechs, not just the amps. They did what? <laughs> I've been so busy recently. Thank you. What's the world looking like right now? I haven't checked up on it in a while. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's done for. Ooh. There is a troop ship that we could go out there and try and find. That's the second stronger ship, if I'm not mistaken. Let me get all of the mechs. We're just going to send those out. We're just going to march out there. And we're going we're gonna to deal with these damn mechanoids. But we're going to wait until we've actually got them first. When he's built a new mech bay, I suppose we might as well start work on that now then, right? Let's go ahead and throw... Put down one in each corner. I think that could work. Oh, that was poor timing. Hello. How's it going? Nice, there's nice guns. Very fancy swords. Good lord. That is the epitome of threatening energy. I like the shields. I don't suppose there's any way we can get those. I, I mean, they're, they're much better than our rain shield bouts in terms of just, like, raw hit points. Well, let's go. Defensive positions. Oh, shit. Choco's up. Well, that was bloody fa fast. I haven't got a gun for you, though, on account of them all, um... <laughs> burning horribly in a fire. Don't ask. Mind and capable of violence. Okay, well, you can sit in here next to Sachiko. And we'll just pretend that you two are having a, a great time. You two can pretend you're running the shield generator for me. How about that? We're going through... Oh, don't do that. 
I filled in this one, but they've decided to go through the other one instead. Okay, let's go. I, I think General Payne might be quite keen on this one, given that he might knock their shields out with that EMP straight away. All right, in you go, Corellan. Let's do it. Let's get out there. Oh, that's cool. You can see the health bar of the mech as you move it around on the map. That's really, really helpful. Let's keep these two close, but not too close so that we can actually get our people out of there if this all horribly, horribly backfires. Can we pick them up from a distance? Hang on. Corellan, this one might be on you, my friend. Oh, it is. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Rocket Barrage. That seemed like some pretty nice hits. Hang on. Let's try and come up here a little bit more. Okay. Wait for it. A Starper Shield Barrier. Oh, man. I love that it changes direction on that, too. That's quite fun. Okay. Let's do that. Stand you here. And then kill them all. I want to I aim at the floor. Oh, I want to aim at the floor. Shit. That'll do. Right there. Great hits. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come and attack us. Come and attack us. Come and attack us. They are not very good anti-mech squads, are they? <laughs> the mechs are right there. The holy shit. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Boom. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, this is incredible. You are so doomed. We've got Berry and we've got Lady. You're actually quite good. Uh, what about you? I mean, these are all just flesh suits again. They're all just f flesh suits for our people to be... Eventually, we'll download Chainsaw Hands into all of them. Hopefully, we can just reinstall this guy right into this one. Let me get rid of our, our original one, but there is something cool we can build there instead. Somewhere in that MISC tab, we have Mech Frame... Memorial. There we go. So let's queue up the solar panel module and the comet recreation module for it as well. And then let's start work on Owl. So what do we need for that? It's kind of similar, but we need double on the weaponry. Well, this one's a damage specialist, right? So that'll make sense. I guess I'll queue it up so we've got two of each instead. A bit more sensible given the amount that we've got to build as well. Again? Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> it's their, their sister and their fathers are turning up now. Your multi generational mech crushers. Why are you so angry? You're paid off by the damn mechanoids, no doubt. Oh, King Snitch is broken down again because he's losing his mind. How long until that clone is ready? Uh, well, I'm not ready to clone, is it? Until the sleeve is ready, we've got 55%. Okay, squad. Oh, that's never gonna get old, is it? That's never gonna get old. Um. Okay, well, I'll see you later, I suppose. Man, they are so good at dodging the turrets. Shit. Well, I mean, if they're coming right for us, let's stay behind the... Stay behind the shield. Boom, 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 boom. A body took me too long for you to go ahead and throw it in the meat grinder. Uh, I mean, that metaphorically this time, not literally like his last body. <laughs> oh, what a great problem to have. Right, you come down here. Boon, I'm gonna put you... Oh, let's move General Payne down too, see if we can knock out some of those shields. They're ripping my turrets apart! Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne! Right, you come down here, help us out. Wow, they have just picked this kill box to pieces. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Forget about... I mean, it's handy against the mechanoids. It did save us against the mechanoids, I'd argue. We're not rebuilding that every time. You can piss off. Although we get all the resources back. Mech crushes a fling. Is this, is this, are this going to be like mad hit and run tactics every time? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. Maybe we need more turrets and not less. Maybe that's where I'm going. Or maybe we need to, like, triple down. As long as the explosion isn't destroying the mech components. Because that would... Then, then we just cannot rebuild until we get more mechanoid raiders. Which isn't exactly ideal. You know, or we can't rebuild our base until more mechanoids turn up. Seems a bit cyclical. I think these mechs are amazing. They might be one of the best combat mods I've ever seen for RimWorld. The fact that they've done this without... Any sort of framework too, you know, like a vehicles framework, like the Vanilla Expanded team is working on. It's just incredible. I really love the modular system they've got and the multiple designs for it. I'm excited to see what the others have in store for us. And on the subject, come on. Wrap it up. End the episode with one more mech. You shit. Well, I mean, you technically kind of did, huh? Um, oh god, these are so expensive. Holograms it is. There you go. I do still think we're a little bit too powerful. I think it's going to be really hard to balance this all out to have the, the poor mechanoids turn up. But you never know. I mean, if they keep smashing up our defenses at the rate they are and the rate they have done here. Oh, God. Because we, did we not get, like, a full refund on the plastic? No, we didn't. So if they keep smashing the base up like this, maybe it will be quite an even fight. You know, that was the strongest the base has ever been. And we've already been knocked down a peg. So let's see how it goes. Let's see, again, how it happens when we get the owl. And I want to see the whole squad together. It's going to be amazing. But not as amazing, of course. 
as you at home for watching. And you aren't as amazing as the patrons. Thank you all for for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. It's a bit of a weird one, a bit more combat focused. I like to do these occasionally, just to keep it varied. It can't all just be a giant city building uh, extravaganza, in my opinion. Thank you, of course, for bearing with me over the next couple of days while I'm away. And when I get back, I'm going to do a big old Patreon post, because I'll finally have... Hopefully a little bit of time to uh, get on top of everything then. Before it all goes a bit nuts again. Thank you to Dietz, Tebfunk, Hutley, Bellman, Alex Warren, Nextar, Jackson, Lawbringer, Weird Fish Gaming, Arnie Rass, Triquatrol, Secret, Spec, Altheon, Morgan Wise, Epilogue, Snowdog TW, Catlord, Antolino, The Caliber 366, Dust, Bigsby, Jack Barber, Big Stump, Naughty Pickers, Azazol, Validus, Time Waster, Karchagaski, Prototype in session and Methanius as well. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for being here and thank you for hopefully returning either tomorrow or the day after when we move on to our next mech. Thank you as well to Fred, Bodar, JD's, Babe Lincoln, Kai, Edzuki, Moose the Dumb, The Dwarven Gaming, Mantle, Fang, Swiftwing, Benny Goodman, Liam Frostick, Crossy, Vladislav, Shatulski, Melvin Gronendal, Viking Boy, Pylos, Ute, Red 15, Stormcrower, Sir Thomas Q, Nightwitch, Cameron Hughes, Cheshire, Sean Keller, Ethan Wordsman, Charles Howard, Lanath, My Dexios, Bubonic Ghoul, and Matthew as well. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Hey, nice work.